I don't even know where to start with this video. I'm just going to let the secret the Secret Service speak for themselves. I'm going to apologize ahead of time for the janky camera quality and my audio quality. This is all very last second, but again, uh, the Secret Service is at least taking responsibility for what happened with Donald Trump, but wait until you hear some of the other things that is currently happening. So here we go, let's start with this clip. Secret Service's solemn mission is to protect our nation's leaders. On July 13th, we failed. As a director of the United States Secret Service, I take full responsibility for any security lapse of our agency. We are fully cooperating with ongoing investigations. We must learn what happened and I will move heaven and earth to ensure that an incident like July 13th does not happen again. Let Secret Service's solemn mission. Okay. Here we go. So I will say that's great. Secret Service taking responsibility. I mean, I don't think they have a choice. Most people can agree there was a lapse in security. Why was the roof uncovered? Things like that. Let me just go ahead and go to the clip that kind of forced me to want to make this video. Uh, all right, let's see if this works right here. Here we go. I mean, this is crazy. Ready? Did he have a range finder? There were some reports that that the individual had a range finder. That would, that would certainly raise my suspicion. Real quick, if you are unaware what a range finder is, a laser range finder, there's really only a couple of things why you would ever use one. Use number one, maybe you've played some golf and you see somebody put something against their eye. It's literally a laser that will hit an object and then bounce back and then the little computer will, cal will calculate in real time how far the object is. You see it in golf, but you also see it being used in the military or, you know, hunting as far as the application to compensate for like bullet drop and things like that. If something is 200 meters away, you know I don't have to compensate. If something is over 300 meters away, you will have to compensate, etc. That is typically why you would ever see a laser rangefinder or the use of one but this is like the craziest thing ever to me and this is why I think a lot of Americans have lost the trust of the US government I mean you're not even gonna believe what's about to be said uh, did he have a rangefinder yes he did but may okay. I explain that at a number of our sites especially when you're at outdoor venues uh, a rangefinder is not a prohibited item it is sometimes an item that is brought in by individuals if you're going to be did in the anybody, back. Did anybody confront him on that? Anybody ask him questions? What are you doing with the... I have to point out, even the guy in the back is like, are you kidding me? Like, what? There is not, I, there is not one single person who's ever used a rifle in a hunting application or any military capacity who is not about to absolutely freak out. Understand this, the Secret Service, they're supposed to be the elite of the elite, and what they do best is not necessarily react at the time of, of an event. What they do really well is preventative measures. You prevent things. So um, having, um, what's the word? Having backpacks that are see-through, checking through all the purses. If you see a random guy with a laser rangefinder and you are supposed to be trained in preventative measures or all things tactical, Anyone ever, look, I was in the military, I'm not like an expert here on these type of things, but if I saw that, I would even know in my head at the lowest capacity of a soldier, I would say, hey, red flag, why do you have that? Rangefinder, anybody confront him on, on his presence where, where he was in proximity to the president? So again, to my knowledge, I believe that that was the process that was taking place was to locate the individual. Did they, did they confront him? Did they go up to him? Did they talk to him? I do not have those details okay, at this that, time. Those are important details. Did okay, let's go ahead and play some other clips. So again, that to me right now is the biggest one. And as I'm making this video, there are more and more clips coming in. So I do apologize if I miss some of them. Something else that really stood out to me was, um, I think this one right here. You know what it looks like, Director? It looks like you won't answer some pretty basic questions. It looks like you got a 9% raise and you cut corners when it came to protecting one of the most important individuals, most well-known individuals on the planet. A former president, likely the guy's going to be the next president. It looks like you guys were cutting corners. That's what it looks like to me. Is that true? I am here today because I want to answer questions, but I also want to be cautious. You might want to, but you haven't answered. I don't think you've answered one question from the chairman, the ranking member, or, or me. Well, we got a lot of other people asking. We'll see if your if your record improves, but right now you haven't answered. I don't think any question. 
Now, in some capacity, I definitely understand that it's called the secret service. So, of course, they want to be secretive about what they can say and not say. But as far as like the laser range finder questions, I think we are or should know about that. Um, and here's another clip that also stood out to me. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but here's some of the snippets here. After President Trump is shot, Secret Service spokesman Anthony Gugliami said, quote, the assertion that a member of the former president's security team requested additional security resources that the U.S. Secret Service or the Department of Homeland Security rebuffed is absolutely false. The next day, Secretary Mayorkas said that is an unequivocally false assertion. We had not received any request for additional security measures that were rebuffed. But five days later, The Washington Post said this. Top officials repeatedly rejected requests from Donald Trump's security detail for more personnel. The next day, the New York Times said this. Mr. Guglielmi acknowledged that the Secret Service had turned down some requests for additional federal security assets for Mr. Trump's detail. So which... I need to point out, by the way, this is why the security hearing is happening. It's not, um, maybe, I will be very transparent. Probably it is because, look, this is under a Democratic administration, and a lot of the people asking her questions under the Oversight Committee, committee they are Republican, and a majority of the people trying to tell the Director of Secret Service to stand down, a lot of them are Republican. I believe there are some Democrats, but a majority is Republican. Um, but this right here is why this is happening, was the some transparency, transparency, very generic responses. Um, but in a case like this, where the potential assassination of Donald Trump occurred, where we could have had a very bad result, a lot of people want questions and answers. Why was there a ladder? Why were uh, the sloped roof thing? She said, uh, the director of Secret Service, we would never have agents on a sloped roof, yet you had the counter sniper teams on a sloped roof. So again, I need to point out, this is why she's really getting yelled at right now, almost like she's in detention, because there was a lot of these reports coming out from the Secret Service, from people... Uh, connected to the Secret Service saying yes and no, no and yes, maybe sometimes, and you know, stuff like that. Which is it? Because both statements can't be true. Were you guessing or lying when you said you didn't turn down requests from President Trump's detail? Neither, sir, and I appreciate the question. Well, what, what were you doing? Because those statements don't, don't jive. So what I can tell you is that for the event in Butler, there were no requests that were denied. As far as requests... Well, maybe they got tired of asking. Maybe you turned them down so darn much they said, not worth asking. How many times did you turn them down ahead of that? I think that it is important to distinguish between what some people may view as a denial uh, of a, an asset or a request. Well, is Mr. Guglielmi your spokesperson? He said he acknowledged the Secret Service had turned down some requests. I'm asking how many? A denial of a request does not equal a vulnerability. Well, tell me what it is. There are a number of ways that... Again, uh, not having the answer or even stating uh, will give you the answer, which typically is what happens. Whenever somebody is uh, getting questioned, they will say, I will get that to you so we can make that transparent to the American public. But she knows whatever answer she gives is absolutely going to get decimated um, by uh, the public and the media threats and risks can be mitigate, mitigated with a number of different assets, whether that be through personnel, whether that be through technology or well, other well, resources. Well, tell the committee which it was. They asked for additional help in some form or another. You told them no. How many times did you tell them no and what did you tell them no to? Again, I cannot speak to specific incidents, but I can tell you in general terms, uh, the Secret Service uh, is judicious with their resources based on... What does some requests mean? How many times? And again, I really want to say, if anyone is new to this, the reason, again, this is called the Oversight Committee. Um, they do this to everyone. It's not only the Secret Service. It just so happens that this is a very highly publicized case. So they go in on everyone. It's not only Secret Service. If there was another agency that got caught funneling money or stuff like that, they would be just as harsh regardless of your political affiliation. The Oversight Committee generally does go in on government services because they know the world is watching to 
include the citizens who vote these guys into office or at least trust them to be in office. Some indicate requests is plural. So more than once they asked for additional help and you turned them down. What they asked for and how many times did you turn them down? Pretty basic questions. So again, without having all of the details in front of me, sir, what I can tell you is that there are times... You didn't get briefed on how many times you turned down the Trump detail when they asked for additional help? I'm, I'm sorry. You didn't get briefed on that before you came to this hearing knowing you were going to get asked that question? What I can tell you is that in generic terms... So there you go. I just wanted you to get an idea of what exactly is happening right now with the Secret Service. I am not here to sway your opinion. I'm not here to tell you guys anything. I am here to show you the transparency of the current state of the Secret Service and what is currently going on. Um, unfortunately, I think this will create or ruffle some more feathers um, on the Republican side of things who are extremely pro-Trump and extremely pro we should protect our presidents. I mean, even President Biden said he wants to give more resources to Donald Trump because why not? He is obviously a target for people who don't like him. So anyway, that is currently what's happening. The number one standout to me is the laser rangefinder. Absolutely disgraceful, absolutely insane. And I'm willing to bet that is no longer on the list for people who want to bring your laser rangefinder for whatever reason. So anyway, that's currently what's happening.